dun dun Alright, that's it for the intro. Yeah, I know, it was awesome. Uh, this is Super Metroid. I messed that up, but anyway, this is Let's Play Super Metroid, episode number 19. And last time, as you saw on the bar up there, we got the space jump. What does the space jump do? This. What? That was quite a day off Yeah, I know. Anyway, uh, what Space Jump does, is not only does it give you that little... Whatever you even want to call that, I don't even know. But, uh, if you time it right... Oh yeah, you're jumping. You're jumping continuously in the air. This completely makes obsolete the, uh, grapple beam and wall jumping. But, you know, for most, uh... You know, replay gamers... Oh, uh, they... Most of us still just continuously use the wall jump anyway. Anyway, uh, a lot of people have a lot of trouble uh, timing the space jump right. They keep falling before they, uh, you know, jump up. They they do this. They try to jump again, but but they fall straight down. And I even had one video. Uh, I think it was the plasma beam room video, where someone commented. Okay, so, paraphrasing, uh, okay, I get it, I'm supposed to wall jump along the vines, but, uh, the vines in that room, well, actually, I think I might just go to it to show you, but, uh, yeah, the, the main thing for space jumping is, just after you start falling, is whenever you need to start hitting it. Like, you go down for about, maybe once, ooh, crap, Don't, you go down for maybe about one second, and then you, uh, go back up, and jump. Jump. Oh, yep. jump, 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 jump. You can see that very clearly, but if you get a little too early, a little too late, like a little too early, it'd be like this. Jump. Oh, that actually worked. Yeah. Too early would be. Well, just too early. And too late would certainly be after you're going down for too long. If you're falling down for too long, I'm hitting the jump button, nothing's happening. A uh, cool little way to get out of this room is a quick charge that, if you do it right, can actually get you up and out of the room. Uh, gotta try and get that here. Well, anyway, just trust me, you can do it. You can, uh, space jump out of the room. Or not space jump, uh, shine spark out of the room if you really feel like it. Anyway. That's all we can do there, so we're gonna go on and leave. And we're back up here. Into the watery abyss that is Meridia. And now we get to leave. Remember all those grapple hooks that if you weren't that good at the whole wall jump aspect of the game you might have had trouble with before? Now, easy as pie. And this is also a great place to show off that pseudo screw attack. The pseudo screw attack, remember I kept saying how you charge this up in somersault and technically to get right you have to have an eye in the game. But here it is, charge it up, head left somersault with your space jump on. That is the pseudo screw attack. And, as I said, destroys enemies. What, 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 what more could you possibly ask for in a weapon than to kill all of your enemies? Honestly. Come on. You can't ask for much more than that. And we want to go through this great ore. Because it's a great ore. And great ores are go through the now that Dragoon, which is that giant mutated crawfish jigger thing, has been defeated. And they're a bunch of purple dudes, but they're, they're just the same enemies with a different color scheme. Maybe they're purple, maybe they're navy, I don't really know. But anyway, it's, it's the same guys, just different color scheme, so no, no problem getting them dead. And they still drop their ship missiles. So, all's well there. And, uh, yeah. Just get our own selves out of here. Now, the space jump is the, uh, main thing. Well, it's not really the main thing you get from Dra defeating Dragoon, but it is definitely the, uh, well, direct thing. I mean, it's in the room right next to the boss, just as the very suit was with Kraid. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, 
That's the whole thing behind it. If this room looks familiar to you, I don't blame you. Because Meridia is just the most confusing place ever to me. You do... Ah, crap. Want to get a speed boost here. And please... Ah, oh, dang it. Almost. But it's kind of the same thing as Meridia Main Street, except there's no real... Except formula. You just gotta hope and jump. And for those of you who can't remember how to do that, it's specific kind of shine spark is you get the charge ready, you hit down as usual, you somersault in there, you just tap up. You just tap up and you start flying. Now down here we have this gray door, but there's a little peculiar thing I want to show you. I'm going to shoot down and right, and I want you to keep your eye on that blinking door right down there at the bottom right of the screen. And I don't want to open it, so I'm going to shoot straight down. Alright. You heard that open. Now yeah, it's a door. It's going to open. Listen for it. Second door. Who knows? How's that even there? It's a glitch. It's the same thing as in Krakamara's room. If you shot to the top right of the uh, vertical door, if you shot to the top right of that, you would hear some shot blocks crumble. Which is really a phenomenon being there are shot blocks in the adjacent room. What was that? That, yeah, uh, that's not even the right word, but whatever, the room just above it. I hate this thing. Uh, I don't really hate space jump, but it's, it's quite useful sometimes. But anyway, take note of this little thing right here. They're not going to attack you, they're not going to do anything to you, but just kind of, just you know, shoot them out. Kill their faces off. Yeah, that was a little fun thing. Uh, in here, these guys can't touch me still. So don't bother with them, just go straight down to the bottom right and grab yourself a plasma bang. And this is the second most powerful beam in the game. Because it's super awesome. And, uh, if you go to your weapon screen here, you will notice that your spacer is turned off whenever the plasma is selected, and vice versa. You definitely want the plasma. The plasma beam has the power to go through and listen for the sound effect. Without the ice, give that a chance. Same as the spacer, but yeah, you know, it's just better. And you see how it's two waves that are instead of three, and the two waves in the pla oops, two waves in the plasma are slightly longer than the shorter space waves. So uh, yeah, you want that? And you can see, freeze, die. And if you didn't have the ice beam on, they die instantly. And these guys, if I can get, if I can show you one, I certainly will. Uh, there's one climbing the wall right up here. They jump all the freaking way across the room like ninja beasts. And you can all jump off of them for kicks if you really want to. Anyway, you gotta kill them all. Get out of here. So that's the basic deal. And uh, now they're all dead. And this is the room I was talking about earlier where someone had commented in another video. And I was the only community said, okay, in the comment, uh, you have to wall jump off the vines. The only thing with that is, uh, space jumping has, as I just said, wall jump a minute ago, but it, space jumping has nothing to do with, uh, jumping off of vines or anything. Let me do an extra scope out here. You look through it, it's absolutely nothing. All it is is an image later. It does not, image layer, it does not, uh, affect your movement in any way whatsoever. Like the, like the edge of that platform there. You see how the green kind of cuts off? And you can see how the green kind of comes back whenever the extra scope is in there. That's just an image layer. It does not affect your movement in any beneficial or harmful way at all whatsoever. So uh, make sure to take care of you know noticing these kinds of things. You have to kind of understand the game. But uh, yeah, so we got our plasma beam. And watch this. And these guys, watch it. Freezes them all, kills them all. The plasma beam, instead of stopping at the enemy it kills, it will actually go through an enemy that it kills and on to the next enemy in line if there is another one. So that's actually a really, really cool effect that it has. So anyway, uh, I think I missed something up here. Damn, I hate you, little bubbly thing. 
And you too, little fly thing. Is this a room? I don't even remember this is a room. Nope, okay, we're good. Let's go. Oh, I already opened it. Anyway, let's go out here. And, uh... If you wish, you can go back over into this area. Right over here. And we don't have much time left, because I'm actually looking at my timer now. And, uh, so... We're not going to have much to do, and I definitely want to get to this in the next episode, because it's a very, very difficult thing to do. Uh, the thing is, just try to reach out and grab me, you actually want that to grab you, or just to sink under the sand, but they just make it a whole lot faster, because there's some stuff we want to get down there. You know, look at... The yes, there is. And, uh, we only got a few seconds left, so, uh, hope you enjoyed this episode. A couple little details that I have listed in it, and, uh, hope you come back to the next one. Wow, it's been a while since I did one properly. See ya!